What's up you guys? Welcome back to Momoni's channel. So today I'm bringing you guys another cooking video. I know you guys have been harassing me for another cooking video. So I'm finally bringing one to you guys. So today I'm making bambaso. Um, I didn't know what bambaso was till I moved to Sacramento. Um, so there's like a couple restaurants that sell bambaso here. And even then I had never tasted it. But I was like, oh my god, it looks so good. So I decided to make it home. At home. I practiced one time and everybody loved it, so I decided to make it again for you guys. My I use my family as guinea pigs, so if they like it, then I know you guys are gonna love it. Um, basically, what pambaso is for those of you guys who don't know, um, I believe pambaso origin originated in um, the F in Mexico, um, but basically what it is, it's kind of I want to say it's kind of like a deep fried torta. Um, so basically you kind of like deep fry the torta or like the bolillo and like chile Kind of how you would do with the enchilada Now what I do want to tell you guys is that The original way of making pambaso is with papas and chorizo That's the original way of making it before you guys start her, um, talking shit That's not the original way because I'm using carne I'm using carne asada um, Everybody here in my house we're all carnivores here so we want some carne up in our fucking plate. So, um, but for those of you guys who um, want to make it the original way, um, basically how you do it is you just um, cook your papas with the chorizo and um, you basically smash up the papas and then you throw your chorizo in there and you cook it together. And then that's what you would put instead of the pambaso. But again, I'm using carne asada. So let's get it started. So first I'm going to show you guys the ingredients. You are going to need um, bolillo or virote, whatever you guys call it. I'm not sure what the fuck the difference is, but whatever. Um, but this is the bolillo that I'm using. Um, for those of you guys who don't know where you would find this at, um, you can find it like at any Mexican. Um, well, most of the Mexican meat markets have bolillo. Um, otherwise, um, you would probably want to go to a panaderia. Uh, panaderia is basically like a Mexican uh, bakery. And they would sell these. And I'm using carne asada para tacos, and it's already marinated. Um, so you guys could just get your, you could go to your favorite carniceria. Um, carniceria means meat market. You go to your favorite meat market, and they usually sell carne asada, like, ready for tacos. And it comes marinated already. Well, I had asked for mine's marinated, but you could ask for, you could ask them to marinate it for you guys. Um, and it's just much faster, but if you guys know how to marinate your own carne asada, then you could just do it at home. But, you know, I was kind of like being a little lazy bitch and I went and I bought, I bought my meat already, okay? For our, for our salsa, for the uh, pambaso, you're gonna need chile guajillo. For the condiments, I'm using cabbage. Um, you don't have to use cabbage, you can use lettuce. I believe the original way is with lettuce, but I prefer cabbage just because it's more crunchy and I feel like lettuce is more like watery. You're gonna need sour cream. I got the Mexican sour cream just because it's thinner and it's more easy to spread. You're gonna need aguacates. This is for the condiments. If you guys don't like aguacates and you don't have to, but um, you want aguacate in it. And and I'm going to throw um, queso fresco on mine. Now, I'm going to make a salsa to put inside the pambaso. I'm making green salsa. What I use for my green salsa is tomatillos. You're going to need ajo. Ajo is garlic. And you're going to need uh, chile serrano. And you're going to need bouillon or consomme, whatever you guys call it. We call it consomme. And this is for the salsa. Also, you're going to need ajo for the salsa for the pambaso. So you're going to need um, ajo for the salsa to put inside the pambaso. And you're going to need ajo um, for the salsa that goes on the actual bread. And you're also going to need onion. Alright you guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going, um, I'm going to start making my salsa first. Just because my tomatillos, um, they kind of take a while to cook. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start peeling off my tomatillos. So when you find them at the store, for those of you who are kind of new to cooking, tomatillos are going to look like this. So basically what you do is, oh man, this is a bad one. 
So I recommend when you guys, um, for those of you guys who are like new, uh, um, picking out tomatillos, I recommend that you take this off at the store. That way you could look at it. Cause look at how bad this one is and you don't want to eat that shit. So we're going to throw this one away. And if you guys see me waddling, a bitch went to the gym and it was leg day yesterday. So I'm fucking going through it, you guys. I feel like, man, like I got laid hella good or something because I cannot walk right. So don't judge a bitch. All right, guys. So um, this basically what you do is you just take off the, um, I don't know, you just peel it. So basically you want to take this off. And then however tomatillo, however many tomatillos that you're gonna use, um, just depends on how much salsa you're gonna make. I usually use about seven tomatillos, um, just because everybody loves my green salsa, and uh, we like to have like extra. So once your tomatillos are peeled, you wanna rinse the tomatillos. Okay guys, so I've already taught you guys this, but to my new viewers, whenever you're gonna like grill, um, I don't know how you say it, grill, tostar, whatever the fuck, um whenever you guys are gonna throw anything on the comal um such as like tomatoes or tomatillos or chiles or anything i recommend that you put foil paper over your comal because then that means it, it won't get stuck to the actual comal like it comes off nice and clean also make sure you put your comal on low fire you don't want it too high because you want to basically you want the tomatillo to cook super good inside so i'm just gonna put all my tomatillos here all right guys so this is what i'm cooking for my salsa so i have all my tomatillos now and i put my chile serranos on there too um and then i put two ajos i usually use three but this one's kind of big um that's so like a fucking ajo on steroids so i'm only using two um the key to making this salsa is not to keep turning the tomatillos because you want you want your tomatillos to be burnt. The burnt part is what's gonna give your chile flavor. So make sure whenever you do flip it over, try to flip it over with the burnt part. You want the burnt part. Also, what I'm doing over here is I already started boiling my water. This is where my chiles are gonna go to make the salsa for uh, my pambaso. Okay, so for those of you who are new to chiles, I'm going to show you guys um, how you clean them. So I'm getting my chile guajillo. So what, what I do, everybody has different ways of doing it, but what I do is I basically just take off the, um, I rip off the top part. And then I just take off, um, you want to make sure you get all the seeds out. So then I rinse it. And then you're just going to keep doing the same thing. All right, guys, I finished desvenando my chiles. Desvenando means like I'm done gutting them. And I, I rinsed them already. And now I put them in the boiling water. You only want to leave them there for three minutes. No more than three minutes because if not, they're going to have a bitter taste. And I still have my tomatillos cooking. I have not flipped them. This is what they should look like. Well, I mean, they still look fucking fresh, but... Just to give you an idea. Alright guys, so I already put my carne asada um, to cook. I just added like a little bit of oil just so that I wouldn't stick to it. But honestly, you don't even need to add oil. My carne asada is cooking. And then my chile is ready to be turned over. You see how it's nice and burnt? You want it to be burnt because that's what's going to give it flavor. And then I also got to flip over my ajo because this is getting burnt over here. And my chiles are cooked. I only cooked them for three minutes, so I'm gonna start to make my salsa. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start to make my salsa for my pan vaso. I already put my chile guajillo inside of the blender. I'm putting, oh, fuck you guys, my camera's kind of like not focused, but I'm just putting a piece of um, onion in my chile, and then I'm putting in a piece of fresh ajo. And then, um, basically the pot where I boiled my chiles, I'm going to use some of that water. And I'm going to put a little bit in here. So just to start out, I'm putting about that much water. Um, but if, like, I always tell you guys, if you guys are new to cooking, then start off little by little and you could just keep adding. So that's how much I'm going to add for right now.
Now I'm using my little ratchet ass blender because a bitch still hasn't found the lid on it, but it's cool because you guys are still gonna watch the bitch and I'm still gonna teach you guys how to cook, so it doesn't matter what the fuck my blender looks like, right? Oh, fuck you guys, I'm over here messing up. I forgot to put the salt, so I'm gonna grab some salt. So just to start out, I'm gonna put about that much salt. And just a tip, if you guys ever put too much salt in your salsa, all you gotta do is just add a little bit of water and that'll kill the saltiness. My salsa is a little bit too thick, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Alright guys, my salsa still looks a little too thick, so I'm gonna add more water. And since I added like way more water, I'm also gonna add more salt. And if you guys are beginners, I don't recommend you just throw it in there since I'm experienced. I kind of already know what it's gonna taste like, so that's why I'm just adding more. But if you guys are beginners, make sure you taste make sure you taste it before you add more salt. Porque no quiero que sea una pasada de verga con la pinche sal. You're gonna give everybody fucking high cholesterol and high blood pressure with that shit. I kinda like the texture of my salsa, so now I'm just gonna taste it. Okay, so it could use a little bit more salt, so I'm gonna add more salt to it. Okay. Perfect, you guys. So now my salsa is ready. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half. And I like my cabbage cut hella fine, you guys. So this is how I do it. Like you want that shit hella fine. My sister does this like 20 times faster than me, but I mean, I still get the job done, so. All right, so now that I'm done chopping up my veggies, now we're gonna make the green salsa. This is what your tomatillos should look like, all right? This is perfect right here. Everything's nice and burnt, that's how you want it. All right, guys, so I already put in all my tomatillos inside my, um, my blender and I threw my chiles in there and I threw my ajo in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put consomme inside of my chile. So I'm gonna do like two tablespoons. And then uh, for those of you guys who are wondering how, that are wondering how many chiles I put in there, I put about five chiles in there just to start out and then I put like seven tomatillos in there. Um, just cause we want more for throughout the week but you guys don't have to do as much. Um, the chiles kind of depend on how spicy you want it. So if this is kind of like your first time making salsa, then just add as you go and then just keep tasting it. If you want it more spicy, then you keep adding chiles. But to start out, I'm doing five. And then I'm going to do two um, tablespoons of the consomme. I'm not using salt because the consomme kind of gives it like a better flavor in my opinion. But it's up to you guys. Now um, I'm going to put water in my salsa, so I'm going to put, to start out, okay I need a little more. To start out I'm probably going to put like that much. Alright so now I'm going to taste my chile, let's check it out, I'm going to do a taste test. Fucking perfect, you guys. I got it on the fucking first round. Yay me. Alright, guys. So, I already set up shop, as you can see. So, um, this is my salsa. I've already put my um, pan on medium high. So, you want to wait for the pot. I mean, you want to wait for the pan to heat up first before you put the oil in. Um, you could use manteca. Manteca is lard. Um, I try not to cook with lard, even though it probably would taste like way better. I mean, it tastes good with the oil, but I mean, manteca makes everything taste good. But, you know, I'm trying to make a little healthier choice, but whatever. You guys can use whatever you want. So I'm going to put 
maybe like this much. Yeah, you guys, and if you guys are on a diet, then maybe you should do, you should eat this on cheat day, but it's worth every calorie. Let me just tell you. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our bolillo. This is a funky ass bolillo, but that's all they have, so don't judge a bitch. And I'm gonna cut it. Just like you would a torta. Now, this is like um, kind of a torta version of enchiladas. So basically, you're going to dip this. And you want to keep the pan together. You want to keep the bread together. Don't um, separate it because you don't want the chile in the inside. All right, guys. So now I dipped my bread in here. Now I'm going to put it in the oil. And now you're just gonna let that sit, um, just for maybe, uh, maybe just a couple minutes, maybe like two or three minutes. You don't want to leave it in there for too long. Um, this shit is super messy, just like enchiladas, you guys. But I'm telling you, it's bomb. All right, guys. So this was ready to get flipped over, so I'm gonna flip it over now. Oh damn, that motherfucker's hot. And you see how it's nice and toasty? So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And you guys, I'm um, in honor of you guys. I'm not using a disposable plate. I'm being a bougie bitch and I'm using a regular plate, all right? So you guys know your girl loves you guys. All right, so this one is ready to be taken out. And see how nice and toasty that is? So now I'm going to show you guys how to prep it. So you open it up, and the way I prep mine is first I put my aguacate. And your girl loves aguacate, so I'm gonna put hella aguacate. Then, follow me. My carne, my carne asada is dead, so I'm gonna put some carne. And if you guys had made it with the papas, um, then you would put the papas in. And you want to spread it out. Alright, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your cabbage. Or if you use lettuce, then you would use the lettuce. So I'm going to put my cabbage. Now, I'm going to put my sour cream on top. And I like the Mexican sour cream because it's easier to spread. Now, I'm going to put queso fresco. And I'm going to put my green salsa. We're going to put it on the top. All right, you guys. And now you just put this on the top. And your bombasso is ready. All right, so now I'm going to do my famous fetish bite for all my freaks. All right, so let's do our first fetish bite, you guys. And I want to show you guys how the inside looks. This shit looks fire. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me do a close up for you guys. Mm -hmm. Fire, you guys. Fire. What do you think, Brittany, is a bomb? It's fire. Like, I'm over here just going crazy on this. All right, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my pambaso video. Um, I know it's a little different type of recipe, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to tag me in your pictures. Send me your pictures, you guys. 
when you guys have um some of you guys send me pictures and you guys tag me um like on your videos and stuff but when your um page is private i can't look at it so if you want me to be able to see it uh make your fucking instagram public real quick for your girl but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching mo money's channel